Thank you, Mr. Speaker. One of the most disturbing scandals has been the infection of thousands of people across the nation with HIV and hepatitis C through contaminated blood. Today, Lord Penrose publishes a report which follows nearly 25 years of campaigning by members on both sides of this House to address this scandal. Could the Prime Minister, as the last act of his government, ensure a full apology, <laughs> transparent publication, and above all, proper compensation for the families terribly affected by this scandal? Yeah. My honourable friend is absolutely right to raise this with the Penrose report published today, and I can do all of the three things that he asked for. I know that many members on all sides of this House have raised the question of infected blood. I have spoken about how constituents have been to my surgeries. While it will be for the next Government to take account of these findings, it is right that we use this moment to recognise the pain and the suffering experienced by people as a result of this tragedy. It is difficult to imagine the feelings of unfairness that people must feel at being infected with something like hepatitis C or HIV as a result of a totally unrelated treatment within the NHS. And to each and every one of those people, I would like to say sorry on behalf of the government for something that should not have happened. No amount of money can ever fully make up for what did happen, but it's vital we move as soon as possible to improve the way that payments are made to those infected by this blood. I can confirm today the government will provide up to £25 million in 2015-16 to support any transitional arrangements to a better payment system. And I commit that if I'm Prime Minister in May, we will respond to the findings of this report as a matter of priority. Finally, Mr Speaker, I know that Lord Penrose was unable to present the findings of his report today because of illness, and I'm sure the whole House would want to send him our very best wishes. Ed Miliband. Mr. Speaker, Mr Speaker, let me first say that I fully associate myself with the remarks the Prime Minister just made about the victims of infected blood, and we undertake today to carry these recommendations forward as well. 